founder of Sacred Earth Connection. Today I bring you the beautiful guest of Moose. The moose is the largest of all members of the deer family and they thrive here in Alaska. They really are a beautiful presence in this landscape and wilderness. And uh, just over a week ago, my husband and I were hiking on one of our favorite trails and Surprisingly, not many people were around. It was basically just us and nature, and it was really such a gift. So on our way back in the trail, we suddenly see this huge bull moose galloping towards us on the trail. He was obviously very spooked and focused on getting away from people and dogs that we could hear further in the distance because he kept looking back and just galloping. He was going at a really good speed right towards us. He hadn't seen us yet. And so when we saw this, we just looked at each other and agreed to get off the trail and give him the space he needed to keep moving. So we get off the trail in the snow, because there was still tons of snow at that point, and he suddenly stopped. So I could tell he was tuning in to our energy. He hadn't fully seen us yet, but he knew we were there, and he needed to know who we were. and. This is what this beautiful moose reminded us once again of how powerful energy is. So we were simply standing there patiently waiting for him to go by and he wouldn't move and I realized that he couldn't really see us because of all the trees because this was a trail in the forest but there was a clearing on the other side of the trail so I convinced my husband to cross the trail and go where there was a lot more snow, of course, but we would be more visible for this moose. So we crossed the trail and went further off the trail and stood in the snow. And I kept communicating with this beautiful moose in heart and mind that we were friends. We love nature with all our hearts. We love all beings and we were safe for him. He didn't have to worry about our presence. He could just keep moving along and he would be safe. And we would stay there until he had moved on. We wouldn't move from our spot. So we're admiring him and sending him love and Finally, he decided to move forward. So he started walking very calmly, and I could tell he was still very much tuned into our energy, and he walked in front of us. He was only about eight feet, 10 feet away from us as he moved in front of us on the trail. And all of a sudden, he stopped and looked at us and calmly began to eat snow. And we couldn't believe this amazing gift. He was displaying so much trust towards us. And so we just savored that moment. It was just so beautiful and so we waited patiently while he was eating snow and looking at us and obviously not in a hurry to move along. So we just kept enjoying the sun and his presence and 
After a while, we decided, well, we might as well keep going on our journey because he's clearly not interested in moving along. And so, just before doing that, I asked him permission to take a short video with my iPhone and a few photos so that I could share his beautiful gift with others because he really inspired me to share about the gift of energy and what a pure language that is among all beings. It's a universal language and when it's harmonious, it's beautiful. Everyone is at peace and you can really see that with wildlife especially because they're such pure receivers of that energy. They perceive it very clearly because their minds aren't all cluttered with stuff like people are. Human beings are constantly in that beta frequency, very, very, very busy, and that's what usually alarms animals. They'll perceive you way before you see them or hear them. They know of your presence because they're such clear receptors. And we have that natural ability ourselves. It's simply a matter of clearing our minds so that our hearts can fully and clearly receive that energy language from others and so I myself was tuning in to his energy to make sure that he was always okay with us and he was he was so calm and so I took a few pictures and took a short video that I'll be included at the end of this video and so after we decided to move on just as we simultaneously we hadn't even budged yet but we were both thinking it this beautiful bull moose decided to move first and it was hilarious because he was clearly in tune with everything that we were thinking and feeling and it was just very magical to be so in harmony like that and so he decided to move first so we laughed and thought okay we'll respectfully wait for him to move then and amazingly he retraced his steps on the trail and got off trail towards us and I'm sure that our jaws dropped open when we saw that because we were so not expecting that display of such deep trust in us. He clearly decided to go up the mountain instead of continuing on the path and their long legs have made them perfect for this landscape even in deep snow. So he was trudging through the snow and went right beside us. I could have touched him. He was like right here. I didn't out of respect, but I thought, wow, he is just so trusting and so beautiful. And so we kept thanking him in our hearts for showing us that beautiful display of trust and for accepting us. And he just kept walking slowly along up the hilly terrain, up the mountain, and turned back to look at us once before continuing on. And we sent him so much appreciation and love and gratitude for that gift. It, that hike in itself was magical, just being in nature and savoring that beautiful day. But the presence of that beautiful big bull moose just increased that magical factor that much more. It, we were beaming the whole time that we went back and even that evening we were still talking about it. It was so beautiful. And so this is the beautiful lesson of moose 
for you today is the demonstration of how our hearts really are everything that enable us to fully embody heaven on earth as human beings. We have the ability to live in harmony with all beings, doesn't matter who they are, and coexist together in synergy, always knowing and respectfully acknowledging each other for who we are. We're all beautiful beings with such sacred purpose here on Mother Earth. And when we're mindful of our energy, getting out of our heads, that busy, busy mind all the time, and taking the time to be in our hearts, that's when the magic lives through us and manifests around us. So our invitation for you today is to be mindful of your energy. Regardless where you are, notice how animals, whether it's wildlife or dogs or cats, domesticated pets, babies are also a clear receptor of that energy. They'll let you know immediately how you're doing with your energy. And notice that mirroring of your own energy through all these beautiful beings. And strive to have a more harmonious energy field because it's so beneficial for you. It first of all benefits you and then it benefits everyone around you. There's different frequencies of energy that have been studied and the alpha is what nature is always operating at. It's very harmonious. It's what makes you feel so good and alive and accepted and beautiful when you're there. It's very, very healing. It calms the mind. It realigns your energy field. It neutralizes all the EMFs when your body becomes too overloaded with the electromagnetic fields and energies. And so you can be that for others as well, even in urban centers when your energy is at that level of frequency, which is from the heart with a clear mind. And it's not about not having thoughts, but it's more about just monitoring when you're operating from here and you're not even aware of your body anymore so that instead of being at the beta level of busy 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 and chaotic which is what animals perceive human beings as it's chaos when we're stuck in our heads with a million thoughts going through and focusing on the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and not being present or mindful. Breathe, stop. Take a moment to just stop everything and breathe. And by focusing on your breath and going back to your heartbeat, you bring your energy level back down to a more harmonious frequency that shifts everything 
in your body so that you can think more clearly and see from a different perspective and perceive more clearly things that are more subtle that you might not perceive otherwise because there's so much stuff in your head and it's blocking this beautiful receiver that you have which is your heart and do this as a daily practice when you feel yourself spinning out of center stop just stop everything even if it's for just one minute and notice the difference in how you feel and how others respond to you after you do this and the more you do this in your everyday life and the perfect test for that to see how you're doing is to go out in nature and see how wildlife reacts to you if wildlife looks at you like you're part of the landscape you're doing brilliantly if you don't even see wildlife or you see them scatter away or sounding alarm calls then you know that you're still in that chaotic frequency and so just breathe and become more mindful and it's such a beautiful practice because when you become your true nature again you benefit yourself and everyone else and your energy affects everyone in such a beneficial way and your own body can function at a much higher level than when you're stuck in that fight or flight frequency. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, do share. Whichever season you're experiencing at this time on our beautiful Mother Earth, I wish you infinite magic and continued empowerment on your journey of life and i send you great love Thank <laughs> you.